practice today? Really good, really good practice. Um, the guys brought the energy, you know, after a tough loss, um, and that's all you can ask for. You know, all of the players is to, you know, bring the same energy and come out there and work hard, and that's what we did today. Is it in a weird way? Does a loss like that help you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, any loss, you know, humbles you, humbles you a little bit, and um, you come out there and um, you get back to the basics and you get back to doing what you do best, and you know, that's going to practice and working very hard. This is the first time you guys are coming off a loss this, this year, and it's kind of a short week, too. So how's the process of kind of regrouping and putting this one behind you different? Just got to put it behind you quicker. You know what I mean? You just got to put it behind you real fast and um, just get, you know, move on to the next opponent, put it, put it behind you, and get ready to work on the next opponent. When you watched this one back on film, was there anything that stood out that led to you know, the first loss of the year or something where you guys fell short? Yeah, I mean, I just, I just believe our effort wasn't there. I just believe we didn't um, go out and execute the game plan. Um, and we just got to look ourselves in the mirror and just go out there and um, do a better job. Yeah, how much is it a different approach this week? How much can you guys really draw from that or get an extra edge because of that first setback? I mean, you just got to you just gotta go out there and you just got to really work hard, man. You just got to sometimes, you know, you know, look in the mirror, um, see what you could do better um, and, and approach it better and um, just go out there and execute, not getting too lax and not getting too complacent. Um, it's something that we just had to learn and um, we just got to go out there and work. I heard Coach mentions uh, something about a prosperous team versus a desperate team. You felt like you guys are going to be desperate on Friday. What, is it, what does that look like from you guys? Standpoint? I mean, you're desperate to win. You're desperate to, to, to prove yourself again. So um, I think this team is desperate coming off a, a loss. And um, I think we're desperate to, to, to do things that this, you know, this program haven't done. So um, we got everything in front of us still. Um, and all of our goals that we set out in the beginning of the season is still out there. So just going out there being desperate to do it and finishing it. What does it mean to your team to be playing for the conference championship for the first time? It means a whole lot, man. Uh, a young program um, and this team, you know, in the beginning of the year, you know, set out a, a goal to, to go win a championship. Um, and that's the goal every year. So to, to be in position to do it, it's a great feeling. And um, we have that chance this week. You mentioned this was the goal from the start. This has already been a historic year for the program, but what kind of a stamp does it put on it to have that trophy or something that you guys can look back at? Yeah, it just really shows how special this team is. Um, I still believe that this team is very special. Um, it's one of the best teams in program history, and um, I think that just really stamps it. I think that just really shows how special this team is and you know what we really could do and what we're really capable of. Hey, Antonio, I wanted to ask you about your individual performance. Um, you know, From the beginning of the season until, until now, what, what do you think that you've improved the most? Um, coverage, coverage wise, um, tackling, um, and I, it's some of the things that I'm still uh, working on. I'm um, just tackling in open space. I'm still working on that every day in practice. Uh, Want to, you know, be a better tackling out in open space and um, getting guys down um, when you know they break to that second level and uh, really just being a, a heck of a safety. Um, and that's what I just continue to, you know, pride myself on and just continue to work on every day. Just, just being a, a great safety back there for this team. And knowing how big the attendance is probably going to be this Friday. How important is the communication in the backfield also going against a pretty high quarterback? What, what is your, any strategies going into this week? Yeah, just making sure we, we communicate, just making sure that, you know, everybody's on the same page, making sure we all lined up, making sure that we all, you know, getting that, that call in and then, you know, communicating it to the next guy. So that's just going to be huge this week. It's going to be a big crowd. Um, it's the championship, you know, fight. And in, in, in a championship fight, you got to have great communication when, you know, you're in that corner and when you, you got to communicate with your guys that's next to you. There were some times a couple years ago where it felt like this program was pretty far from being at a place where they'd be able to compete for a championship like yeah. this. What can you point to as like the biggest things that allowed you guys to make this jump? The culture change. Um, that's just something that, you know, that, that changed this place. Um, you know, we always have talent. We always had great players. But I think guys just buying into something and believing into something really has changed a lot. And um, I think, you know, going into this game, and you, you know, we, we will feel it. We will feel that change. We will feel it. And um, I just hope that the guys, you know, really feel it. And I just hope that the guy's really ready to play. Was there any turning point or time in the last couple of years that became realistic for you where you thought you could reach these heights as a group? Yeah, I mean, last year. Um, last year, um, I seen a lot. I seen a lot change. I seen a lot of players change, you know, their perception, uh, change their minds, change their bodies, uh, buying in. And um, that was part of the reason I came back, you know, just seeing everybody, you know, on the same page, um, seeing the talent that we had. And I just knew that we could be something special um, with great leadership. And um, I just wanted to add value to a team and just come back and um, you know doing the, do the things that we're doing. This Western Kentucky team that you're facing has been really rolling since they last met you guys. They've won every game by two touchdowns. Is there anything different that you see about them now compared to earlier in the year? I mean, they just executing their game plans better. Um, I mean, that was 
you know, halfway through the season, um, those guys' relationship, you know, they, they build, they build relationship, quarterback build relationship with all of his receivers. He's making better connections. And um, he's just going out there and, you know, he's, he's way more calm than he was. Um, and he's really just running that offense and running that system over there. They play an offensive style that is so much different from a lot of the teams you face. As a defender, how is the dynamic different? Having already seen it, does that benefit you, or what impact does that have? Yes, it definitely it definitely benefits you because you've seen it already. So you kind of know tendencies, you kind of know uh, the personnel, you're kind of familiar with you know what different guys can do. So you you definitely familiar with it, and it definitely gives you a boost, and it definitely helps you a bit. Um, but you still got to go out there, and you got to do a better job than you did before. Are you anticipating that they'll have kind of a lot of wrinkles and a lot of different things, or do you think you'll see a lot of the same stuff you went against last time? Absolutely, a team are always going to make adjustments. Uh, you know, based off what you know last game showed, and uh, based off what we we have been showing the last few weeks. So I'm pretty sure that they'll be doing some different things, and you know, probably some of the similar things that worked for them and that they were successful with. So we're expecting you know anything and everything with this team. AP, it's not every week that you play for a championship. What's just like the vibe like with the guys this week overall? It's crazy, you know, coming off a loss, um, our guys flipped the switch pretty fast, and um, we got a, ch a championship mindset, we got a championship mode, and um, just getting back to, you know, doing us and being us that we was all year, um, it was great to see today. It was great to see that the guys came out and really worked hard today and really practiced hard. So when once I seen that, it gave me a boost too, you know what I mean? Um, we all, you know, we all had our bumps and bruises, and we all, you know, felt that loss. But um, I think these guys is motivated and really humbled up and really ready to roll. Does the success that Washington Kentucky had moving the ball against you guys last time kind of light an extra fire in the group, or does that do anything for you guys as you head into this matchup? No, you just kind of just familiar with them. You just kind of know that you know that they're a good offense. You kind of know that they can move the ball. You know what they're capable of. So it kind of just give you an extra motivation to make sure you you know you want to stop it, and it give you extra motivation to make sure that you're doing your job. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat>